year on Uranus is 84 Earth years long. On Uranus, seasons last a lifetime. This icy giant takes 84 Earth years to orbit the sun, meaning one Uranian year lasts almost a century. And get this, the planet is tilted 98 degrees, so it rolls around the sun on its side. That tilt causes extreme seasons, where one pole faces the sun for 42 continuous years, then plunges into darkness for another 42 years. It's like living in a world of decades-long days and night. The moon has moonquakes. Earth has earthquakes. But what about the moon? It has moonquakes. Seismometers, which are devices that measure the strength of earthquakes, were left on the moon by the Apollo missions. And they detected tremors beneath the lunar surface, caused by tidal forces from Earth, thermal expansion, and even meteor impacts. Some moonquakes are so strong, they last up to 10 minutes, way longer than most quakes on Earth. They shake the crust and may affect future lunar bases. The moon isn't just a quiet rock. It's still alive, geologically. Space has weather, but it's nothing like Earth's. You might think space is just a vacuum, but it has weather too. We're talking about solar wind, radiation storms, and geomagnetic substorms. These bursts of charged particles from the sun can disrupt satellites, mess with GPS, and even cause auroras here on Earth. In extreme cases, they can knock out power grids, like the 1989 blackout in Quebec. So yes, space has storms that can even influence Earth. You just can't see the rain. Some stars are older than the universe, or are they? Astronomers once found a star they thought was older than the universe, about 14.5 billion years old, when the universe was only 13.8 billion years old. Wait, what? Turns out the star, HD 140283, nicknamed the Methuselah star, had its age recalculated with better data. It's actually just under 14 billion years. But it sparked a big question. How do we measure cosmic age so precisely? The answer, we can't, yet. The oldest stars can still keep us guessing. There's a planet where a year lasts just 18 hours. Imagine a planet where the entire year, or more specifically, the time it takes for the planet to rotate around its star, is shorter than a single day on Earth. Meet WASP-18b, a gas giant exoplanet that orbits its star in just 18 Earth hours, mainly due to the proximity between that star and its planet. It's so close to its star that it's being pulled apart by tidal forces. The planet is literally spiraling inward and might one day be devoured by its star. Its atmosphere reaches over 2,400 degrees Celsius, and it's likely locked in place, meaning one side always faces the star, while the other remains in darkness. It's a world on a countdown to destruction. One galaxy shoots laser beams into space. Deep in space, a galaxy called Markarian 231 is firing natural lasers into the cosmos. These aren't sci-fi weapons, they're astrophysical masers, microwave lasers powered by a supermassive black hole at its center. The light comes from molecules excited by the black hole's heat and pressure, then amplified into coherent beams. It's like the galaxy is yelling, I'm here, across billions of light years. Scientists call it a mega maser, and it's one of the brightest objects of its kind. There may be life on Jupiter's moon Europa. Forget Mars. Some scientists think Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is our best shot at alien life. Beneath its icy crust is a massive subsurface ocean, possibly twice the volume of Earth's oceans. It's kept warm by gravitational tidal forces, which means liquid water could exist, and it's one of the most critical factors for potential life. The presence of volcanic vents might also fuel life. 
NASA's Europa Clipper mission is launching soon to find out. If we find microbes, or anything, that could change everything. Most of the universe is invisible. The bright stars you see in the night sky? It's less than 5% of what actually exists in those areas. The rest? It's invisible to our eyes. About 27% is dark matter, a mysterious substance that doesn't emit light, but holds galaxies together. And a staggering 68% is dark energy. An even stranger force pushing the universe to expand faster and faster. Together, dark matter and dark energy make up 95% of the universe, but we still don't fully understand either. It's like we're trying to study the cosmos with a flashlight in a fog. You can see the past when you look at the stars. Ever looked up at the stars and thought, I'm seeing history? You would be absolutely correct. Light travels fast, 300,000 kilometers per second, but space is very big. When you see the sun, you're seeing it as it was eight minutes ago. And with further objects, that time only grows. Look at Sirius, 8.6 years ago. The Andromeda Galaxy, that's a snapshot from 2.5 million years ago. Telescopes are time machines, because light shows us the past, not the present. Every star in the sky is a window into history. A black hole once tore a star apart, and we watched. In 2019, astronomers caught one of the most dramatic events in space, a black hole literally ripping a star to shreds. This event, called a tidal disruption, happens when a star gets too close to a black hole's gravity. The outer layers of the star get torn off, forming a glowing disk of gas spiraling inward. This one happened 215 million light years away. And we saw it because it flashed in x-rays and visible light. It's like watching the universe hit delete on a star, in real time. Saturn's rings are disappearing. Saturn's rings may look eternal, but they're not. They're made of ice and rock, and are constantly being bombarded by meteoroids and pulled in by Saturn's gravity. NASA estimates the rings are slowly falling into the planet, in what's called ring rain. At the current rate, they might be gone in a hundred million years. So in cosmic time, we're lucky to be alive while they still exist. Subscribe now before the rings vanish for good.